Hi, this is Mark from Will and M Small Engine. Today I'm working on a Craftsman 1842 chainsaw. Um, long story short, it's been sitting three, four years, and I'm sure it has old gas in it. And I'm sure, to put a carburetor kit and stuff in it, but let's tear it apart and see what this thing needs so we can get her going. Okay, I'll go ahead and take the top cover off. Well, I see there's gas all over on the inside, so we must have a cracked or broken fuel line, but first things first, we're going to take the spark plug out, make sure it's burning okay and it's not scored or anything. So. Well, it looks like it's, it's burning a little bit rich, but it's burning okay. So I'll go ahead and take the air filter out and get a 5 16 inch nut driver. Gas stinks. Pretty old gas. And we'll take that off. Now we're gonna take the fueling off over on this side over here. Fuel line down here, we gotta take off. Looks like the return line. And we'll take the throttle linkage off. Yeah, them lines are just this bristle. We're just gonna put all brand new lines in on this too. So we'll, we'll clean the outside of this carburetor off before I tear it apart so we don't get no extra dirt in there. Choke lever up. So let's take this top off here. Nice and clean, but it's kind of stiff.
That's hard as a rock. Diaphragm. So. We'll get a new. Diaphragm for that. There's all that. In the meantime, I'm going to take the recoil off so we can get to this primer bulb. And we're just going to put all brand new lines on this. There's primer bulb one of screw in kind. So I'll grab one of them and grab some fuel line. And to pull the fuel lines out, I tell you like make like a little piece of wire like this with a hook on it. So you can come in here and grab it. Pull it right out. I'm gonna put a new put a new fuel filter on there too. So I will go grab a carburetor kit and some fuel line and we'll continue on from there. Okay, I think that got everything we need. We got our primer bulb, spark plug. Fuel filter, carb diaphragm, new air filter, and fuel line. So let's get this carburetor put together before I lose anything. Put this new base gasket on. Diaphragms. Make sure the holes are lined up. Squeeze that throttle lever open so it don't hit that idler screw. Yeah, pop right into place. That nice and snug. Put the base gasket on that first. And the diaphragm. Line the holes up. Go 
and snugged them up. Not too tight so you don't break the heads off, but you don't want it to fall apart either. Okay, that's done. So we'll get rid of this stuff right here so it's out of our way. Okay, this one here, that's the one that comes from the fuel tank to the carburetor. Take this primer ball off. Like that. And here's your return line. So when you push the primer bulb, the excess gas goes right back in the carburetor. I don't know if you can see this there, but on, like on these Craftsman's and a lot of the Poland saws, the fuel line that comes from the tank to the carburetors, like half the size as a return line and the holes smaller. But what I do, you don't have to do it, but what I do, as I drill that hole, the same size that hole, that way you have uniform lines on both sides. So it's actually equal flow. So it, I don't know if it makes any sense, but it's less work on the carburetor diaphragm and stuff. So people don't believe me, but I, I believe it's true. So I'll go find the drill bit, the same size, and we'll drill that hole and I'll show you. Okay, you don't, you don't want to make the hole any bigger than that return line hole because you don't want gas leaking up in here. So just make sure that one goes right down in there. And you just come over here to this side here. And just drill it out. They're both the same size hole now. That way, both lines are going to be the same. It's going to be equal pressure. up here. The old birds out here. Okay, then we're take the air gun and Blow that out. Okay. On the fuel line, you can bevel, bevel the hose.
And there's a little bit of a little WD-40 in there just helps it slide in there. Grab your nail nose, grab it, cut that off straight. <clears throat> now, I like using this, I kind of made these little nail nose with square but I like sticking them in here a little bit and I stretch it out just a little bit so it's just easier to get that fuel filter on there and just spray just a little bit of lubricant on there Okay, now drop it in the tank and make sure it's going to rest flat on the, on the bottom. Just like that. Okay, so that's gonna go this side here. That's our, picks up the fuel I think it's gonna go to the carburetor, leave some slack on there. I say about there. Okay, now we gotta run our return line. When you push the primer bulb, the extra gas goes right back in the tank. Put that bevel on there. Just a little lubricant so it slides in there. Have it go down there in about an inch. Okay. Here's the old primer bulb. Here's a new one. Out of the two, there's a short one and a long one. The long one, that's the one that's pushed it so that one goes right, push it right back in the tank. What I like to say. Yeah, 
run it under that wire. This one, so we the one that sucks it out of the carburetor back into there. So let's get this all put on here. set the carburetor in here so get the linkage on here Start because now we have to hook up. Return fuel in here. Need small hands for this stuff. Ballpark on where to cut it. It's better to cut it not enough than too much because you can always shorten it. Before I put everything else on, I'll put some gas there and I'll push this and I'll show you how that how that gas runs through there. The two cycle gas. I 
Okay. I'm going to push the primer ball, but it's going to bring the gas to here and out the other end. See how it's filled with the primer ball? It's just circulating that gas, but it's priming the carburetor all at the same time. So, everything's working okay. Put stuff together periodically, check everything. Air cleaner base. Grab our two five sixteenths inch nuts. Tighten them up. Okay. Got our new air filter. Okay, be this hat for a while. I like spraying a little bit of WD 40 in there just to get the rings wet and everything. Because until that gas goes in there and start burning, that's the only lubricant all the moving parts have. Grab our new spark plug. Cover. Right. I'm going to go ahead and take the chain off and we're going to sharpen the chain real quick. Done, it's gonna be like a brand new saw. Okay. 
go ahead and set it here and we'll set our degrees of 30. The back angle of 60. It's pretty much what them craft spins and poems usually run. Turn it back around to the other side. So like about these sharpeners, you set the first one, and all the rest are exactly the same. So it cuts straight. It don't cut off to one side or the other side. A sharp chain that means less less load on the engine. Okay, let's put that back on the saw. But always make sure the pony side is always going forward. You know. I'm sure everybody knows that. But.
like it, so it went too tight. Before you slug it down, check your chain. What I like it is right in the middle, you just pick it up so the bottom of the driver just, just barely come out. That way the chain's not too tight or not too loose. If you have it too tight, you'll wear out the end of the bar and too loose, you know, the chain's always gonna fall off. This is my rule of thumb. pick it up and just just barely the drivers barely come out of there that's what i believe is pretty idea all right well let's see if this bad boy is going to start here i'll make some room here okay well, let's see if this bad boy starts so i'm going to push the primer bulb make sure it's on pull the choke out put it on fast style See what happens. Okay, it popped. So once it pops, go ahead and push your choke in and it should take off. please subscribe and if you have anything you're having troubles with let me know and I'll try finding something similar and we'll kind of walk you step by step through it anyways appreciate you watching you have a good day thanks bye hi this is Mark from L&M Small Engine if you like my videos please like and subscribe thanks